What's good, people? Welcome back to another episode on my channel. It is your boy, Elijah. So today, I wanted to talk to you all about something called drop service and how you can add this to your arsenal when it comes to side hustles to make additional income. So a drop service business can make you anywhere upwards of $1,000 in a month. So it depends on how much time you put into this business and how you want to effectively grow it. I was able to run this as a college student. I'm still a college student and I'm basically still running this drop service business in a sense. Originally, it did start off with heavy hands-on time, but as time grew, I started to pivot it more towards the drop service business because I didn't have the time to quit, quite keep up with it because of school and other things I had going on. Anyway, I just want to let you know, if you put the same level of time into something like this, you could potentially grow it to be even further than what I got going on right here. So before we get into the video for today, make sure you smash that like button because it helps me continue to make content like this for you all. Let's get right into it. So as you can see here, this is my drop service business, the Apollo service. So the name of the company is Innovative Apollo Media. And over time, we've basically built out um, a variety of services that we provide. So branding, designing, web development, app development, content writing, social media marketing, SEO services, lead gen, and video animation stuff. Um, we've worked with a decent amount of clients ranging from e-commerce to restaurants to even a consulting group and other e-commerce brands as well. So we've kind of been all over the place, which has been really, really cool for us. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know that this is something huge and when it comes to drop service and what it really is, it's just a matter of managing a project for somebody. So for example, someone needs a service, like I need a website, and basically you're just being the person to provide that vision in terms of what the person is expecting as a result. So a lot of people will think, okay, this is not a viable thing. Like if you, you know, why not the person just go find somebody to design the website? But here's the thing, when it comes to designing a website, one number one the person that's trying to get the website built may not even know how they want the design to really look they might not know the nuances behind getting the different pieces together there are so many things um, that comes to building a website that a person may not know about and that's where you step in you're the glue that puts all the pieces together so let's get right into how are you going to even build this business out so the first thing you got to familiarize yourself with is wordpress WordPress is really huge. It's a big engine. You don't even need to know how to build a website. It's very, very easy. There is a lot of themes that you can use and basically just change stuff and edit things around. I'm actually going to give you a, a, a look at um, my website that I'm currently building here, ElijahMacTub.com. And as you can see here, it's just this. And basically, I'm just editing stuff around, right? So I didn't necessarily build this um, from scratch. I'm just editing the website. Um, I've been editing for a while. But anyway, you can kind of get a visual for it. You don't really need to have the crazy skills of like web building anymore. Like, I mean, I'm a computer science student. Originally, like I would build websites from um, scratch, like HTML, CSS, but there's no point to doing that anymore. It's so easy um, where you just need to find great tools that can change stuff like for right for example I'm gonna change this like I can change this image if I really wanted to right you can change stuff you don't need to know how to code it's just a matter of learning the nuances of how to manage like web builders if you want more videos on how to basically use this make sure you let me know in the comment section I am happy to dive deeper into any content specifically but this is basically WordPress and it's a huge dashboard meaning it manages everything related to the business. So if the business was even an e-commerce business that you're building a website for, no matter what the case is, it's got it covered. So the next thing you gotta familiarize yourself with is Shopify. Shopify is a huge, huge engine powering billions and billions dollar companies out there in the world right now. The big companies that we know about, Gymshark, Fashion Nova, those companies are all powered by Shopify. So this Shopify is a huge one to know because they simplify the entire process of having, number one, an e-commerce business. So if it's an e-commerce business, the place you got to go to is Shopify. And it's easy like WordPress. You don't have to really build a website. It's a theme as well. You just edit stuff around. 
Now, if you understand the basics behind these services in general, the next thing you got to know about is how do you outsource if you don't want to really do a lot of different things or you just want to do some parts and you don't want to do the rest of the other parts. You get to choose, pick and choose in the drop serving business what you want to do. So Fiverr is a huge place to find services. Basically, what you do is just find somebody that when you take a project on for, let's say, $1,000 and you have to build a website, you have to make some designs, you have to make a logo, you have to do management, other stuff. So you're the overarching budget, right? So basically what you do is, okay, I need a logo. You find someone that can make a logo for 50 bucks. So now you're down to nine, $950 from your original $1,000 you were paid, right? So you just have to basically do the math, find someone that can do it um, for a cheaper price, but relatively great quality. The key to this is you got to make sure that the quality of the, pro of the product coming out from the person you're outsourcing to is amazing because that's what you're getting paid for. You're getting paid for your design eye. You're getting paid for giving quality to the client that paid you. That's why you're there. You're not there to actually like make the project. You're there to deliver the project. I want you to have that mindset. So when it comes to the website, right, you can also find someone to actually build a website on WordPress, whatever the case may be, right? So you're charging for the delivery of the project. You're the glue putting the pieces together Projects are not just one piece. So when someone tells you to design a website, right? If you buy one of these websites, they're not, they're most likely not gonna copyright it for you. So you're gonna have to go in there and change the words from Ipsum, like basically like the words that are gonna be on the website to develop is not going to be the words that your client wants. So then you're gonna have to go get a copywriter again, right? So, so that's, this is the thing, right? The nuances behind drop service business. You got to know like, okay, there are so many different parts of it that you have to put together. So overall, you can maybe put all of these things together for like a couple hundred bucks and then you just keep the difference, right? So if you're getting paid a thousand dollars and you end up spending roughly three, four or five hundred dollars to build the, um, the project out, you get to keep the rest of the money from the budget because that's what your cut is. Upwork is another great place, a little bit more advanced than Fiverr. I think there's a lot more great quality stuff on Upwork because you get to filter um, the talent how you want to filter it. So they give their experience. They they basically apply for the job from you. And as you can see, trusted by Microsoft, Airbnb, GoDaddy, like the big companies hire from this marketplace. So <laughs> they, the people here deliver great work. Next point I want to talk about is, okay, so you've got the project, everything put together, everything's all good. How do you get paid? So it's very easy to say, okay, I'm gonna get paid like, you know, with Cash App or Venmo or this or Zelle or Quick Pay or that, you know. But one problem I had with clients sometimes was clients will try to move around with the date when it comes to getting paid. So a big tool you can know in your arsenal is Stripe. Stripe is a way to basically set up invoices with your clients. Huge, huge, huge because what you're able to do is you're able to automate your payments with Stripe. So whenever um, your invoice is set at a specific date, for example, or if you have a, comp a client that's a monthly customer, you can set up an automated invoice that's going to automatically go through and charge your client once your client has approved that process, right? So you have to go ahead and agree with your client. Okay, this is how I work. This is, this is what works for me. I want to make sure I protect myself, but also you. So this is how we're going to go into the agreement. Stripe is very huge for you to do that. So definitely set up a Stripe payment processing for yourself so you can get your invoices. They do charge you 1.9% or something like that. It is definitely worth it because you eventually down the road will not have to worry about a lot of different headaches from a lot of different clients because as time goes on, trust me, I've seen so many different aspects of trying to manage your own drop service business. Drop service business. And you want to make sure that you protect yourself too. The last thing I wanted to talk about is if you have a creative mind and you just wanted to design just design stuff here and there, like logos and quick things, something really huge that you can use is Canva. It's very easy to design logos. Um, a lot of times you don't really need to do much. A lot is pre-built for you as well. You can use a lot of templates. So it's very, very nice, I would say. It's definitely one to um, definitely keep in your arsenal. It helps you just continue your creativity. Like for example, you can just use this. 
and change the name, um, you know, dental, you know, stuff like this. Very, very simple, but very, very powerful. This is how we were able to build out and our, our business and really get it to where it's at right now. Um, pretty much autopilot. We've worked with, you know, professors at universities, you know, restaurants, consultants. I uh, worked with a lot of different people over time, and it's been really, really amazing. I just wanted to kind of share this, you know, uh, drop service guide with you all. If you have any questions about, you know, anything related to drop service and like how to start one, how to build one out, where do you start, any specific questions about anything I mentioned in this video, make sure you drop it down in the comments section because I'll be happy to dive deeper into that content for you all. Anyways, your boy Elijah. If you like this video in any fashion, make sure you smash that like button because it helps me continue to make great content like this for you all. If you're new to this channel, you want to make sure that you subscribe because I always cover a lot of amazing content from investing to building your own business to finding your own career path. I talk a lot about the cryptocurrency market especially and stock market as well. So if you are interested in any of those topics that I just mentioned, Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to the channel because we'll be having a lot more amazing content for you. Anyways, your boy Elijah, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.